summer, summer, summer time. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Box Art Reviews number 29. And this week is a very slow week. Only one new release is coming out. So you know what I decided to do? I'm going to do what I should have done a couple weeks ago when it started. I'm going to take a look at all of the Summer of Arcade box arts for all the downloadable games that are coming out for the Xbox Live Arcade, including the beginning one, Tony Hawk, to the end one, Dust and Elysian Tale, which doesn't even come out ne until next week. I'm going to do that because I should have did it when it first came out. So, yeah, there you go. I could do just one box art and call it a day and then do next week's. But I'm going to do this for you guys because I should have done it when it first came out. So, anyway, let's get straight into it with the first box art, the only game that's coming out this week, which is... Some Japanese crap. I mean, uh, Persona 4 Arena, which of course is a brand new Persona game. Except this one is not a JRPG. This is a fighting game. And I shouldn't say it's um, uh, some Japanese crap, because it is Japanese. Uh, I think so, at least. Um, but the Persona series I have always heard was actually really well written. Very, very fun. Very interesting. Had a weird premise, but really cool for my for what I've heard, of course. I uh, never played it. Really did, though. Uh, but this is, of course, a fighting game. But I'm not here to talk about the game. I'm here to talk about the cover art. The cover art itself is, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's very Japanese. It's that kind of Japanese I don't like. You have the, the dude that looks very feminine, and then you have the girl that looks very... 14 and <laughs> and then you have the weird stuff in the background you have the I don't know what the hell that is in the background it looks like a missile with a with a s clown suit on or something I don't know I can't really see um, but uh, even if I zoom in I can't tell what the hell it is but uh, it has a very nice style to it the shading and just the way the the characters are drawn it looks really damn good it's very very nice art style I have to admit but it's still a very Japanese it's just very Japanese to me. I really don't care for it, but still, the coloring, the shading, the way it's drawn, it looks absolutely fantastic. Some of the best I've seen, so I'm still going to give it a 6 out of 10 just because of that. But, you know, it's definitely one of the best JRPG uh, uh, covers I've seen, even though it's a fighting game, but whatever. Anyway, there you go. Uh, 6 out of 10. Let's go on to the next one, which of course is the beginning of the Summer of Arcade, which is... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, which I'm pretty mixed on this box art, really, because, I mean, it has a cool style to it. It has a nice little gradient in the background with the orange and then to the yellow on the top. Um, you have uh, all the skaters doing their thing uh, in the background, of course. Uh, and then in the foreground, you got Tony Hawk, which uh, looks like he's, like, made out of pen, like pen ink, um, like someone drew him in pen, which looks really, really cool. Uh, but then you got the logo, which takes up half the freaking box art itself. Um, and I don't really know what to say about this box art. I really don't. Uh, it's okay, but it's nothing amazing. Straight up, I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10. Let's go on to our next one, which is... Oi, the Racketeer, which of course is the Arcade Connect game for this summer of arcade. And I have to admit, I actually like this box art. It's very simple, straight up tells you what it's about. You're aiming a boulder at castles and taking them down. It's very vibrant, has a nice little style to it. Uh, it reminds me somewhat of a, like a, uh, a kiddier type of fable in a way. So pretty much Fable Heroes, which came out earlier this year. Um, I don't know, I really like it. It's very vibrant, very colorful. Uh, it straight up tells you what it's going to be. I also like how the shadowing on the top for the Racketeer uh, logo just turns into castles. I don't know. I thought that was a cool little uh, addition to the box art. And overall, I like the box art. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Let's go on to our next one, which is Deadlight, which is the most anticipated of the Summer of Arcade games for me. And I should have a review for this game tomorrow. I still have to finish it, so look forward to that. But before then, let's review this box art. Now, at first... I was like, okay, this box art's somewhat generic. I mean, we've seen this kind of ink blot Rorschach test before on other covers. But then I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I kind of like it because you could see multiple things in this Rorschach test. First, I see like a face, which I guess is supposed to represent the, the zombies in a way. And then you see a city in the background with some buildings. Uh, and then in the foreground, you see some people, and I guess maybe that's just the civilians, maybe the zombies, I don't know. Uh, and I really like that, where you see multiple things, just like any other Rorschach test. Uh, also, I like how the background is like a dirty old piece of paper that this is on, that adds to the whole, like, 
dirty feel to the game because you're all, you're in a city that is pretty much destroyed and it has a very dark and nice tone to it and I really like that. So overall I actually really like this cover art because it really represents the game in a very good way without just being like oh here's a zombie here and there there you go that's how we represent the game uh, with this box art which is just a bunch of zombies. Uh, no it represents it in a nice you know not too obvious way so there you go I'm gonna give this box art a 7 out of 10 I actually really like this one so let's go on to our next one which is hybrid which was a game I was actually really looking forward to until I played the beta which was a big big letdown but I'm still somewhat looking forward to playing this game after I saw this box art maybe not that much because this box art is lame 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 with a capital L A M E because Holy crap, all it is is a dude in a Master Chief outfit, that's what it looks like, uh, reloading a gun, it looks like, or I don't know, maybe he's just holding his gun, I'm not sure, that's it, it doesn't say anything on it, it says like, what, G3C, that's, I guess that's supposed to mean something, and that's it, that's it, I mean, it's a well-designed gun, it's really, really cool looking, but that's it, <laughs> that is it, and then you have the logo on the top, that says hybrid, and that's cool too, but... That's it. It's a very lame box art, uh, cover art, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to give it straight up 4 out of 10. Not, nothing amazing, nothing great, not even good, just very, very generic. Let's go on to the next one, which is our last one, Dust, an Elysian Tale, which is a game that has been in development for a very long time. And it's a game that's easily on my radar right now because it looks so good. The graphics are amazing. It's very vibrant, very colorful, well animated. It looks really interesting the way uh, the, the game is played. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. Now, the box art goes for a much more dreary, emotional look to it besides just being vibrant and colorful. And it really does work here. First of all, I like the, bo uh, the background with all the dark clouds and stuff and in the in the foreground it has that big beam of light which I guess is somewhat symbolic in a way I, I guess maybe I'm just looking into it way too much but it's somewhat symbolic and then you have the main character I guess holding someone that he loved and she's dead boohoo or he's dead I can't tell in these games anymore and uh, of course all the characters are based around like I guess cats and maybe some other animals too because they have very cat like features to them which some people would hate but here it looks like it's going for a much more realistic version of that which is very weird to say but uh it's going for a much more human very mature side to it it looks like it, it the box art itself looks really damn good the art style is great uh i love how the guy in the logo in the background you know he looks very it has a very spiritual look to it and maybe that adds to the whimsy in a way i don't know i really like this box art i'm gonna give it the same i gave uh deadlight i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten and there you go, there was Box Art Reviews number 29. I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to the big 3-0 next week. And of course, I am Gore the Movie God. And until next time, thank you and see you later, bitches.